Let's take a look at the new tape resample mode that's available in Studio One Five. Now, when we click on create a new song, we can see down here near the bottom, we have stretch audio files to song tempo. And normally when we leave this checked, it's going to automatically time stretch any samples or loops that we bring in to match the tempo that we've chosen. Now I'm gonna cancel out of here and come into a song that I've already have loaded. And when I created the song, I left that check box uh, checked. So if I press T to add an audio track, let's click OK, and I come to the inspector here, then we can see that the tempo mode is set to time stretch. And when we leave that box checked when we create a new song, this is gonna be the default setting whenever we add a new audio track or bring in an audio file. Now, if we had unchecked that box, then it's going to be set to don't follow. And any audio file that we place on our audio tracks, it's not going to follow the tempo that we have set here. Now, for the time being, let's close out the inspector. And with this mode engaged, I'm sure most of you know the behavior here. Any sample that we bring in, so I have this CD keys here, we can see down below in the information pane that the original tempo of this file is 90 beats per minute. And that's important that the file that you bring in does have BPM data encoded into it. So then Studio One knows how it needs to adjust or time stretch to fit in with the tempo that you have chosen for your song. So let's go ahead and drag this in and it should automatically fit right in to our current tempo. And again, if I come to the inspector and take off that time stretch mode and change it to don't follow, notice this changes and it's gonna play back at its original tempo of 90 beats per minute that we can see. Let me right click, we can see that here, file tempo. And that's why that's longer now. But we want that to be back on time stretch. So let's go ahead and play this back. Okay, so that fits in with our beat. If I come to the tempo in the transport and change that to 80 beats per minute, I'll press enter. Let's listen to this. Okay, and then that matches up again with our new tempo. And it's important to note that the pitch of our audio sample is remaining the same no matter what tempo we choose. So if I change this to 100, press Enter, play this back. Again, we're matched up with our tempo, the pitch of the original file is kept the same. And this is important to keep in mind because at a certain point we're gonna start hearing audio facts, audio artifacts within our sample that we're using if we raise it too low or too high and it's not gonna sound good. That's one thing to be aware of when you're using this particular time stretch method. And actually what we're using is drums right now and really for this sample we should be using the, probably the Proformant now, what the tape resample mode is going to do is it's going to change the pitch playback of our sample in order to get it to fit into the tempo that we have set within our song. So let me change this back to the original BPM of 120. And what I'm going to do to make this clear is come to the instruments and bring in a sample one and show you the method that I use to really get samples that I want to work with to fit into my song. And this is essentially what tape resample does. You're going to see it done within sample one and then we're going to, this will make more sense once we uh, move through this process. So I'd like to use that same sample. So I'm going to come back to our files tab and drag that into the sample one. Let's close the browser and let's mute this track. Now when I use my MIDI controller, this is gonna play the sample back at its original pitch because I'm triggering on C3. We can see by this dash that it has been mapped. The root key is C3. We can also see up above that that's set there. And as I play up, this is gonna be pitched up. And play faster. If I play lower, Okay, so this is essentially what the tape resample 
is doing, but it's doing it automatically. So when I play my track back and I want this sample to match with my current tempo of 120, I'm gonna have to find the key that's gonna do that. So let me play this back and just take note of the keyboard here. A little bit too slow. So I think that's it, I'm gonna record. Okay, let's exit record and delete that out. Um, because of latency, I'm missing that beginning. We'll get it this time here. Exit recording. Let's double click and pull this to the very beginning and this to the end. Okay, so you can see that we are playing a different key besides the original in order to get this to fit within our tempo of 120. But what's gonna happen if I wanna say have this to 180? Let's play this back. Okay, that's just, it's not gonna be right. So let's double click, highlight our note, and I'm gonna use the down arrow. And let's see if this is gonna work. A little bit too slow. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so maybe this is a bit of a long way to show you how tape resample works, but I wanted to really get us all on the same page so you can understand what's going on. So now, if we switch this track, let's open up the inspector, and let's come to the time stretch mode here, and let's change this to Tape Resampler. And let's actually just remove the sample one because we don't need that anymore. I'll Shift T to remove that track. Let's just get this cleaned up. So now we're gonna have the same behavior that I was, or the technique that I was using with the sample one, but Studio One's gonna do that automatically. So when I play this back at the 80 beats per minute, it should st still sound the same as what we were just hearing. But Studio One is now doing this for us. Okay, now if I were to change this back to the original tempo of 120, press enter, and let's hear this back. And this should be pitched up. Okay, let's try 140. Okay, so we can see what's going on now. This is, you know, as you saw with me finding the key manually by ear within sample one. Uh, and actually, I think that's a really cool way to do it. That's what I'm used to. And sometimes you can have some ac happy accidents and it's a fun way to play the sample back. But just know that with the tape resample mode, Studio One can take care of this automatically. And something else that can be done is if I click, hold and drag to select both of these events and press D to duplicate these out for an additional six bars. Let's hold Alt and click on the ruler to set our loop to cover these. 
and let's come to the tempo and the transport and change this to 120 press enter and what I want to do is open up the tempo track and I'm going to click here at bar six to add a new point I'm going to move over just a little bit and click to add another point and I'm going to let's see right click and I want to change that to 80 I'll press enter and now we can see in our tempo track we have a drop to 80 and I just kind of messed that up let me right click again 80 okay so now we have this tempo change we're gonna drop from 120 in the first four four bars to 80 beats per minute in the last four and let's take a listen to this this has actually been a little bit buggy for me but I want to give you an example of what this tape resample feature can be used for in this instance of changing the tempo of our track let's play back Okay, so you can get some cool stuff going on here with this tempo track. And I'm gonna add another point here and let's actually drag this one down and let's have a gradual reduction in the tempo. And let's see if this works. Okay, so uh, maybe you can use such a drastic change, but you can see that you can experiment with tempo changes and uh, ramping down or up and combining that with the tape resample mode here under the time stretch. Okay, so to sum up, what is the tape resample? It's going to, Studio One Five is going to automatically adjust the pitch of your audio sample up or down and keep the same speed that you have whatever you set your tempo to here uh, within your song to allow it to fit within that tempo you have set and with the tape resample mode you don't have so much of an issue if you want to make drastic changes uh, with artifacts being introduced after you've increased the tempo or decreased it by a significant amount although you are going to have a change in the kind of the color of the sound and the feel the vibe of your sample but sometimes that can be a really cool thing if you want to keep the original pitch of your sample and have it fit into the bpm tempo that you're using then just continue to use the uh, one of the other modes here whether it's drums if you're working with a drum sample or sound for polyphonic material or if you're working with a monophonic sample then you'll want to choose that and again um, just remember there's that link that leads to a more in-depth tutorial that I've done on time stretching within Studio One, if you want to check that out. Otherwise, this has been a look at the tape resample mode within Studio One.